Operational amplifiers, incredibly useful devices that amplify signals. In this example you can see a 40 Hz sine wave peaking at 5 volts being amplified to 15 volts. The op-amp is being used as a non-inverting amplifier. If you'd like to invert the signal, you can do that easily by using the inverting input. In this example you can see the output wave is inverted in relation to the input. Apart from simple amplification, they can be used as filters, followers, comparators, oscillators, voltage adders, phase shifters, peak detectors, differentiators, integrators, and many many more. Here's an example of an op-amp being used as a low-pass filter. The input signal consists of a 40Hz and a 2kHz sine wave. With these capacitor and resistor values, the cutoff frequency is approximately 160Hz, so only the 40Hz wave is amplified. You can see that clearly on the right hand side. The formula for the cutoff frequency is as follows. Now let's see the pinout of a typical op-amp. In this case is the popular LM741. Op-amps can come in packages with more than one unit inside. For example, LM324 has four op-amps in the same package. This is useful as it saves space and all the units can be powered by just two power pins. To calculate the output voltage, you can use the following formula. But what is gain, I hear you ask? It is a parameter that defines the strength of the amplification. It is given by the following formulas. This was op-amps in 100 seconds. Like, comment and subscribe for more and see you in the next one.